Thank you. With the Major League Soccer bid hanging in the balance, is the West End moving up and Oakley moving down? FC Cincinnati's $52 million infrastructure package from the city and county was based on a new stadium in Oakley, but there's flexibility. Jeff Hirsch joins us now live from the West End with what has changed. Hi, Jeff. Well, good evening. FC Cincinnati now has an option to buy land along Ezra Charles Drive from the Housing Authority and also some land, vacant land, all of it vacant, back behind me on some other side streets. Now, Oakley is still not out of the running at all. In fact, you could say if this was a, a soccer match, it would be a draw. FC Cincinnati wants to move up from the minors and out of Nippert Stadium at UC to its own soccer-specific facility. The focus was on an old industrial site in Oakley. But now the club is perhaps hedging its bets and bringing the West End into play again. Neighborhood reaction is mixed. That would be great. It's going to be a multicultural juggernaut down here. I mean, black, white, brown can all get together and just have fun. It's a well-renowned sport, so it's going to be great. I think it would be positive. I think it would be a good thing for us down here. How so? Uh, I mean, a uh, new development like that would bring, you know, more traffic and a lot more interest to the downtown area. But what if West End residents are forced to move? The Housing Authority says they are not aware of anyone who would be displaced. But there are occupied buildings near the vacant sites. Would those occupied buildings have to go? And if the stadium was there, it's a possibility that we may lose a lot of our customers and possibly maybe I might lose my business. In a letter to the school board, which also owns West End property like Taft High School and a small football stadium, FCC President Jeff Birding asks for cooperation, saying there are multiple locations in the West End which could generate considerable economic impact. Oakley is still in it. Birding says a traffic study in that neighborhood could be the determining factor. As for City Council, West End? I think it can be done. Um, and I think we've always known when we went into this plan that Oakley and the, and the West End in particular were both in play. Um, I think that we have to still have a lot of community engagement with the West End, and I see some of that happening with Cincinnati Public Schools, but we've got to expand that to the community to make sure that they're comfortable so we don't run into what we ran into in Oakley. Now, of course, this whole thing is conditioned on Major League Soccer awarding an expansion franchise to Cincinnati, wherever it goes in this area. They were going to award two expansion franchises by Christmas, but they only awarded one that was to Nashville, which leaves Cincinnati, Detroit, and Sacramento still as the competitors for that one remaining expansion franchise. And at this point, it's unclear when the decision will be made from MLS headquarters in New York. Live in the West End, Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News, back We're, to you. We are all on the edges of our seats, Jeff. Thank you so much. FC Cincinnati ownership pledged $200 million for the stadium. Public money would be for infrastructure. A spokesperson for the Oakley Community Council tells Local 12 News they were always under the impression that Oakley, the West End, and even Newport were options, and they are aware no decision has